Here we are, 491. I was hoping that last time we would get to 500. I thought that would be it, but it just wasn't happening. Uh, I do have a laundry list of stuff. I have a whole bunch of sticky notes on the bottom of my monitor, which is one of the reasons why I wanted to play today, because I want to get through some of these fucking sticky notes so I can make room for other things. Um, and I have, uh, see, small rockets, so I need steel and all that stuff. I don't even know how to do all that yet, so that might not happen today. Um, a better farm. We tried it. We're trying to do better farm. We're failing miserably because, you know, once you try to fix one thing, something else goes wrong. And in this case, if I recall, it's been a while. Uh, the issue that we have is um, obviously it's a body temperature, but it's not just here. It's everywhere. We're having a body. We're having a, a temperature issue that's starting to leak throughout the entire base. And so we have to figure out a solution for that. How do we want to t handle, you know, the. Um, uh, you know, cooling down the entire base. It's a lot. This is a lot of oxygen to move around. It's not necessarily easy to just, you know, to to just make it colder. Um, what do we have here? Why is it actually getting hot up here? Is there a pipe up here, or is it actually coming from this? 102 degrees. This pipe, but it's insulated, so it should, you know, whatever. But it's probably putting off some kind of heat or something um, in this area. Let me see. What is it? This tile is this batch tile is 86.2 degrees Fahrenheit. Over here it's uh 92 degrees Fahrenheit. Is there water back there? There is just a pipe and nothing in it. Let's try another area. I just want to see how it compares. 87, 86. Huh. Yeah, where is that heat dispersal coming from? I wonder if it's uh I wonder if it's just just radiating from even though it's insulated, it's still just radiating, or if it's one of these things like the lava or something. That's 91 degrees. Huh. huh, huh, huh. Um You're getting heat from the metal door going into the steam room, by the way. What do you what steam room? Are you talking about the other safe? Uh let me keep going here. Uh let's see. Uh, glass, I need to figure out glass. I think um, my far right sticky note here, which is probably the most um pertinent stuff that we're going to do today is I need to refreeze the biome, which is going to take a lot of time. Uh, I need more gas storage. We have we have gas storage that's starting over here, but we never got a chance to finish it because we simply just don't have metal. Like, we're just metal starred for, for, for aluminum and I think copper. Um, did the mats get made? Oh, did the, the pipes get made out of hot mats? Well, they should still sh show that they are hot. Uh, and as you can see, like, you know, I'm going to check the, those gas pipes here, too. Gas pipes is 55 degrees, so, um, yeah, so I don't know what is, where that heat is radiating from, necessarily. This, let me see, what is the temperature over here? It seems like a lot of the heat is coming from down here, for sure, which that's totally understandable. Oh, it's something else I want to try to do. I've never messed with conveyors, uh, in this. There's, like, the auto loot system, whatever, and I wonder if it might make sense to convert this area over here into a storage unit uh like i said i don't know how conveyors work in this game but i'm guessing i'm guessing let me take a look at it actually is it under uh automation no what is it under shipping shipping uh conveyor rail conveyor, conveyor shoot conveyor shutoff conveyor receptacle auto sweeper so let me ask a question um Oh, okay, maybe it doesn't. Is uh, here's what I thought. Here's how I thought that this worked. You put a conveyor receptacle down, which is basically just a bin, um, and then you run conveyor rails all over the place and all that stuff. And I know you can move stuff to storage, but can you get stuff out of storage using the same system? Is that possible? Like, can dupes just go to like a dispensary like area and then they just get issued whatever item they they're looking for? Is that what the loader is for? I thought the loader was in only. Is that not the case? Oh, there's a checkbox. The hub. Fucking thank you so much. That's very important thing to note. Okay, cool. So I can, I have, I, you can see, I, you know, this, this happens all the time. You get a storage unit. just like all over the place. And I want to take all this storage because there's a couple of reasons. One, because some of it's probably storing some pretty hot stuff. Um, and two, it's just taking up a lot of space. And so I think if I take all these, all the storage shit, I move it somewhere, you know, off you know, off our setup here, which would be like over here. Um, it doesn't matter if it's, you know, hot. I guess the, the it matters if the material that comes out is pretty warm, but God, is that that big of a deal? Shit. The loaders have a filter. Off campus. Yeah, pretty much off campus. Yeah. <laughs> God, should I? You know what, though? Thinking about it, it's like if it is 
hot, if it is hot material, it might make sense to try to stash all this stuff into an air, like a biome or something like that. That's cool. Or cooler. I mean, like down here, what is it, 99 degrees? I mean, that's not very cool. <laughs> Uh, over here, it's like 80 degrees, but uh, I don't want all that stuff to leak. Up here, 93 degrees. Oh, it's all hydrogen up here too. You know what? Up here might be a good idea. Um, this is like, this is just jam packed with hydrogen and we could just seal this off and just let hydrogen just chill in here, pipe it out, cool it, pump it back in if we need to like cool the storage units, which I don't really feel like we would have to do, but it's possible. Um, and we could just core this out and just start you know, dressing it up and doing whatever we can with it. Um, chlorine. I want to get all that chlorine moved too. So good. Good to know that you can uh, pretty much just have everything stored somewhere else. Maybe I'll stuff it in here and just mop all this shit up. Can they mop this? Too much liquid. Okay, fine. Um, you can store hot stuff in space as well, but it wouldn't, it wouldn't, it wouldn't trans, it wouldn't actually transfer the energy to space though, because um, the energy there's nowhere for it to tra transfer to. So it would just maintain whatever heat it's at. I would like some kind of equilibrium somewhere. May I just, do, how many of these wheeze warts do we have? Let's take a look and see. Wheeze warts, s -s -s seed, no, 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 wart, wart, war, water weed, wart seed. Okay, zero, fuck. <laughs> they're all being used to cool various pieces of equipment. And I don't even know if they're necessarily doing that, that great of a job. Um. It's a stopgap. Yeah, it's a stop. You know what though? I mean, there's there is this. Let me actually get this started here because they have they have chores they could be doing while we're talking. I do have this whole area out here that I could absolutely just stuff everything out here and just let it um just you know store everything in space basically, and we don't have to worry about heat transfer or anything like that. There's no just a vacuum. Uh, I'm gonna let them continue doing this. This job is pretty important. I'm actually gonna speed things up a little bit too. Can dump heat into gas and then space the gas. So what would I then? What do I do then? Would I? I guess just take. I have a shitload of hydrogen, so I'm guessing storage units fill with hydrogen. Hydrogen gets super hot really fast. Take the hydrogen, just fucking throw it out into space. Is that what you're saying? Because I have plenty of hydrogen. Like there is no shortage of hydrogen in this fucking map right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking everywhere, man. It's all up in here. This area right here. I got all pipes all over the place. Um, you are cooling hydro in space. No, hydrogen doesn't cool in space. Uh, nothing cools in space. It's just basically, it's like a, it's just a stasis. Anything you put in space is basically becomes like a stasis, you know, um, piece. So you don't really get any transfer there. I do have to get that chlorine out too, though. That's going to be a huge bitch. Never throw away a gas you could burn. That's true, huh? Let's put more hydrogen pumps all over the place. They don't really have any. It's clean. So, uh, what is it? Just uh, water, I think? Does it even put out water? No, it's not like the cars. <laughs> uh, yeah, you know what? You're right. I mean, maybe heat the, heat the hydrogen when it gets to a certain temperature. Dump it off into some hydrogen generators and just let that run. Hmm. Hydro radiant pipes, heated gas, and then vent. How you just trash gas? Uh, oh, to um, yeah, that you know what? That's true. That's true. Do I have a lot of? I have so many. I, I'm, I'm, I mean, outside of these areas, I'm not really working in. Like, I, the base is pretty clean. Like, I have oxyferns all over the place. So I'm, it's pretty well handled the carbon dioxide in the base and I'm not really doing anything that puts out a whole lot of carbon dioxide either like there's just this and that goes to this pipe here um and that's blocked because oh, well at least they go this way too so and that just dumps down there oxygen takes care of that <sighs> I know of a small podcast looking for cool people to guest spot. I'm not gonna say the name, obviously. Oh, just out of yeah, I, I appreciate that. Uh, if it's something you'd be interested in, how should they reach you? I, I mean, obviously, I would like more information. Uh, you could just DM me on Twitter. Probably the best way. AKA Mike B. 
Sir Crosshair. Is that steam? No, there's no steam. There's no steam in here. I don't think so. Let me see. Carbon dioxide, carbon dioxide, carbon dioxide, carbon dioxide. Is there a way to see material by type with gas? Let me see. Gas. What color is steam? Let's go find some steam. Steam is a deeper blue. So yeah, there's no steam down here. We're good. We good. But hey, this is a good good way to see how much hydrogen I have though. Okay, so. Uh, wait, hold on. Algae, I'll take it. Okay, so I do think up here might be a good start. It's already got the gas in it. It's a, it's pretty dense with gas, so we could just throw a whole bunch of containers in here. We can move everything over here, uh, all the storage and everything, have conveyors, all that good stuff. I'm not gonna kill any of this abyssal light here. I want all the abyssal light, god damn it. And um, and then we'll use this first. This will be like our first our first step solution here. There's chlorine here. Oh, look at that. Hydrogen, hydrogen, hydrogen. Little little batch of chlorine right there, huh? Uh, and then what we could do is probably do some carbon dioxide stuff. Do I have a natural pool of carbon dioxide, I wonder? Oh. I do. Hmm. There's a lot, too. So this might be a good place to start. Let me, uh, let me have these guys mop as much of this as they can. And I'll also turn this off. You don't need this anymore, so we'll disable that. There we go. Yeah, this might be a good place to put it. We'll pump the gas out. We'll drop some more in there. Does putting heat generating machines in space help deal with the heat they produce? No, it's they it basically just cycle in on themselves and will eventually uh, um, they just burn themselves out. No problem, Crosshair. Get us all nice and clean. And then what we'll do is, yeah, we'll set up, we'll set up a system down here of the new, what are they called? The receptacles and the receptacles. Here we go. What can I make them out of? I just need a lot made out of the cheapest material I have or the, well, it looks like it's gonna be iron ore. Do these hold more than the average? I wonder. Let's start at the top. Uh, no, let's start at the top. Let's start at the, <laughs> shit. Let's figure out how we're going to do this. <laughs> I do have some liquid leaking in still. That's coming from here. I should probably go ahead and bridge this gap. Yeah, let's bridge this gap over. There's no point in having that water drip down here anymore. Oh, never mind. Uh, yeah, so it's not dripping down there anymore. We can go and just get rid of that. <clears throat> it's all going into the system. This system's going up here. I feel like I need to check these things. Let me see. The water is backed up. Why? It's going to here, to here. It's going down here. It's going to here. It's backed up here. Okay. We can alleviate alleviate some of that real quick, actually, just by building another bridge here for uh, for this. Let's do this. That will at least take care of that. Uh, let's see. What about putting them in a hallway? One end open to space. The other pumps with gas. The gas carries the heat away to space. I think it needs to sit a little bit longer. It needs to be. Yeah, it needs to sit a little bit longer before that happens. Doc, thank you so much for gifting that to Terrell. My diabetes tried to kill me. Is that your uh, acceptance speech? <laughs> hey, Tara, I'm sorry about the diabetes though. Um, what the fuck? <laughs> but you're all right though. <laughs> Thanks for the sub. You gotta use a device you you've overheated, exposed to space, combination with heat shift plates to make made of ice to instantly generate a craft ton of water in an emergency. Oh, what the hell? That sounds like cheating. <laughs> There's a little bit of water here. We get rid of that too. I just want to clear this whole place out. Where is that water coming from? Is there like polluted ice in one of these things? I bet it is. Yeah, you know what? We did have these things stored in in bins that were uh, underwater, specifically because they were they had a whole bunch of uh, crap in them. Let's go ahead and move that real quick. Hi, you see? One door opens another, opens another. It just becomes such a mess. So we'll do one, two. We'll do three. And then what I'll do is, uh, we'll take, I bet it's probably just some see eggshell, bleach stone, slime. So yeah, it's probably just something in here. Slime, bleach stone, eggshell, let's get all this shit out of here. Where's that water coming from? Is it really coming from, uh, I guess it is coming from something in here. That's why I gotta get out of here. 
So they're gonna really hate this part because it's 100, oh, 110 degree water. Oh, we did end up cooling it. Remember we moved a bunch of water in here that was down here that was really cool? And I said, it's probably not gonna last forever, but at least we could kind of temper some of this heat that we're generating in this little room right here because it's water that was like super hot. Um, hey, it worked, man, 112 degrees, 114 degrees. That's like a really, really warm, warm, really, really warm uh, spa. That's a lot of polluted water. It gets clean. It'll get clean. It's fine. <clears throat> Just fight it for a man's type easier. here. <laughs> no, I was sorry for cracking a joke. <laughs> That's why. Uh, natural gas is seeping into the base. Oh, man. Are they going to be able to get to this? Is it? I wonder if this is set to nobody gets in or out. It would actually say right here that unreachable build. Yeah, okay. So one of these. Yep, there it is. <laughs> Are you feeding him Twinkies or something? Oh shit. Oh, that's because... Let me turn on scroll lock. Yeah, that's gonna cause a problem. <laughs> it's just gonna... Everything's just gonna... All the water's gonna come pouring out, which is a huge bitch, but we'll get it back in there. God damn it. Let's go ahead and uh, deconstruct this, deconstruct this, and deconstruct this. Let's get those out of here. This is gonna be a process. And then, oh, oh crap, before we do that though, before we do that, let me copy the uh, settings because it's very specific. And then, boom. And then these guys also are nines. Great. They're not going to like this at all, but it's a necessary thing. Now, question is, are they going to, will they kill themselves over this? Like, will they get so low on health that they'll actually end up taking... They'll be fine, I think. Kind of my fault, but yeah, I was only... Gone for two. I noticed that you weren't coming around. But you know, people take breaks. You know, try not to. When somebody doesn't show up for a day, I'm trying to be like, hey, where the fuck you been? <laughs> but yeah. You know, if you were in Discord, I would have checked on you. I typically check on people that leave. Typically. Starvation. Okay. It was just for a second. Let me see what else is here. Oh, it's just the rock. Cool. So they'll eventually get that stuff in there. They're not gonna like it, but they'll get it in there. In the meantime, I think we should start go ahead and go, start and go ahead and uh, put some tiles down. I guess just mesh tile. I'll probably let's see mesh. What is it? 100, 100. Wait, are they? Oh, damn it! Oh, fucking everything's clicking wrong mesh there and we will start the process maybe here and just go what up top see so we'll make this out of i will make it out of iron because it's the thing well we have a lot of copper ore now we need the copper ore for stuff i'm um, not gonna make it out of gold that's for sure so yeah we'll make it out of iron it's gonna be very expensive it's gonna be a very expensive project Oof, man well that's all my iron right there yikes oops don't do that go back i gotta dig some stuff out we gotta find some more iron Oh my god, wait, um, what? Oh, what is this? Calling like mechatronics engineering skill? Oh my god. <laughs> like I said, I've never <laughs> messed with this. <laughs> Apparently someone needs that skill. It's okay. There's plenty of people here with lots of room for growth. Let's see. Who, who has got the least, who's got the least amount of skills? Chaos is new. Bedside manner, advanced medical care. Oh, he's supposed to be a doctor. So we'll make him a doctor then. Uh, let's see. Advanced medical care. Who is the hug shot? Uh, Lindsay's tapped out. Um, you want to save me? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> just give me a minute. Let's see, Donis. What is Donis? Donis is basically just whatever. Handy, handy, handy guy. Mechatronics engineering. Way over here. Ooh, I could get there. Yeah, I could get there actually with this tinkering. Does anybody else have any perks in that area? Killing Demon does. He's supposed to be our astronaut, though. <laughs> he already has... Oh, he could do it. He could do both. 
Rocket navigation suit wearing. Okay, he's gonna have to wear that too. So never mind, never mind. Let's just let him do that. I don't have to scrub his skills again. Let's see, Woofy. Oh, Woofy. Woofy's almost there. Well, but he's not terribly happy. <laughs> just do what I want you to do. All right. So it looks like it's probably gonna be. Uh, Who would I say it was gonna be? Hugshot. No. Woofy. Navy Devil. Killing Demon. Donis. Donis can support it. So Donis, it is. And we'll scrub it if we need to. There we go. Um, sweepers pull from... Oh, sorry, Hugshot. Sweepers pull from... <laughs> uh, let's see. He could wear his improved mechatronics. Mechgineering. There we go. I. <laughs> Why not me? Because... I need to keep everybody happy. Uh, so we just pull from storage and put to loaders and pull from receptacles and put into storage. Are you okay? Are you telling me that the receptacle... Oh, this is just a drop-off point? Is that what this is? This is not a... Okay. No, this is... This level of backseating is totally fine because like I said, I have not used this... Uh, used conveyors at all, so... This is totally new to me. So if this is, if this is, if I'm, if, if especially like that, like that's a lot of resources to lay down and then later be like, oh, you have a thousand of this thing that you only need one of. Okay. So the question then is, what is the, what is the unit that actually stores the product? Oh, the auto sweeper. It said automate sweeping and supplying errands. We're sucking. Okay. That part I know. Uh, materials automatically delivered to any conveyor loader, conveyor receptacle storage, or buildings within range. Okay, so I could use any storage? Like, even regular storage for this? I thought it had a- I thought it had its own type of bin. Um... It seems like I might have to just- just experiment, because I- I... Saw materials in the conveyor rail for transport. Conveyor bridge. Okay, I already know what that does. Road miner. Yeah, I get that. So conveyor lo loader, conveyor receptacle. So the loader is to drop stuff off. The receptacle is to, I guess, pick things up. And load solid materials from a conveyor rail into storage. So I guess the regular storage is compatible then. Puts it in bin. Okay, so... Let me just experiment here. So, if I do... First, let's look at the sweeper. Auto sweeper. Oof, that's kind of gross. But I guess if I put it in the middle here... And it, it cover... Well, I guess I oh, can't just put it in the middle, can I? Starvation made a mess. Oh god, who's stuck where? Navy devil. How did you get... How the fuck did you get out there? He can't cut that. Or that. How did he do this? Oh, he could do this, though. These fucking guys. <laughs> Alright. Back to business. Okay. So, let's go ahead and while they're... They're still moving stuff, so we'll wait till they're moving stuff. They'll kick on the pump here. Okay, so back to this. Automatic dispenser. What is this for? Solid materials delivered. Wait, stores any solid materials delivered to it by duplicates. Oh, dump store materials back into the world when it receives a green signal. Smart storage bin. Stores the solid resources we're choosing. Outside of just having a signal for automation, is there any difference between storage bin and smart storage bin? Or are they interchangeable? It seems clear that I'm at the like just make a couple sandbox things or a couple of uh conveyors and just kind of experiment <clears throat> because yeah i i i'm i need to see and do in order to learn um apparently so let's do this let's just put down a couple of things like there's some garbage here so we'll put down uh an auto sweeper and it's not gonna go anywhere because there's no bins right so let's put one right there Automations. Oh, yeah, it's the only real difference. That's why I wanted to make sure. Uh, let's see. Could probably... I wonder if I could... Create kind of like a circular system. Um, well, first let me see how it works. And then we'll build like a bin. So we'll just put like a regular bin. 
here. Can you conveyor off of the storage bins? I actually wonder now if my first question that I asked before we got into the whole storage and all that stuff was actually answered incorrectly, or maybe if I didn't understand the answer or the question or whatever, or the, the answer given to me. Um, my first question before we got into this was, is it possible to store things off campus, right, somewhere else, and then have dupes be able to pull from that storage without going down to that storage facility? That was my first question. The answer to that was yes. So that's where I thought that there's that, the, you know, the dispenser and all that stuff kind of comes into play. So is the answer to that then no, they still have to go down to the storage unit in order to pull out the resources that they need to build stuff? Yeah, thanks for the flow charts. I'm going to have to just do it uh, at this point. I think read the more I read, I feel like it's just confusing me more. So I'll just have to just do it. Um, configure loader, shut off. Oh, this is probably set to one, I think. Because uh, I set my priorities to like one. Yeah. Good thing I didn't commit to destroying all of my storage before I actually went through and did all this. Can I sign a go silent? So conveyor loader loads solid materials into conveyor rail for transport. Only loads resources are choosing. So let's go and build one of these just so I can see what it does. What it looks like. Receptacle. Build a receptacle. Put it right here. Conveyor chute. Put one of those over here. And then conveyor rail. I'm guessing that just connects all these. Beep. What? Nothing. Okay. Uh. So let's do this just to see. Then we'll experiment with this. Now we're gonna need. Why, Woofy? What are you doing? Eat, son. There's 150,000 kilocalories of food all over the place. Oh my god, my body temperature. How hot is it? Oh god, damn it. We're gonna have problems soon. Yeah, don't worry. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna. Just you know. I'm gonna have, I have to just do it. I have to just experiment. Honestly, at this point, I'm, I'm so lost with like all the explanations, which I appreciate, but it's just not helping me. Um, we do all, and then we will. Is this the one? God damn it! Come on. Let me go pick something and then change it. Pick anything. Change that to a five. Make it a six. There we go. Then don't build it. It's useful as fuck. Cool. That's what I want. I want useful as fuckness. What's the range on this thing? So it's kind of like, it's just a big circle. So I wonder if, does it have to be mounted to a wall? Or can you have it float? It looks like you have a float actually. Huh, okay. So my next question is, can I build a ladder over top of it? No. Ah, but I can build it there. Okay. Oh, well, thanks. Thanks for building the ladder. Uh. <laughs> Uh, all this is made out of gold. This might change the way that I build this whole thing out. Let me go and turn this on. Get that water out of here. I know it needs power too. There's no way. To, yeah, there it is. Okay. So we'll just run some wire to it. Okay, so we'll let them chew on that for a minute. We'll come back and check on that in a little bit. Whoa, what are they going for? Oh, they're cleaning everything up on the ground over here. Yikes. As long as they're not dying while they're doing that, I think I'm fine. Look at gas. Gas bent over pressure. Oh, man. Dreckla egg. We're just going to pass all this stuff. Starvation again. Chaos. It's taking a shit and hungry. Hate when that happens. Uh, still plenty of food, but we're actually losing food. A little bits at a time. Let me check on this over here. So this area is good. This should be... This should be very self-sufficient over here, actually. This whole thing. Gas going in at 14 degrees. Beautiful. Uh, hydrogen going in. Just barely enough hydrogen to run it, which makes me feel like there's something blocked. This should be more than this. Uh, no, that's actually just all it's getting. Huh. Interesting. I could bridge this and that will take care of this thing, but I mean, there's already build up here, so it doesn't need that much to run. Let me see the temperature of this area, 22 degrees. Do you guys think I'll ever be able to get, to, I'll ever get to this area to the point to where it's blue like this? You think it's gonna happen? Yeah, I know, it's all that water. It's just gonna stay up there forever. <laughs> just forever. I also have a bunch of uh, drains right here, so if it does fall down, it'll be taken care of pretty quickly. 
The sweeper moves from lower priority to higher. It's all about commitment. <laughs> They're still loading us up because it's a six. Oh, it's a nine. Okay, that's a nine. Well, you know what? This stuff needs to be cleaned up anyway, so you know what? This is fine. I'm gonna let them just, again, like, just chew on that for a bit. Alright, so the base is getting pretty warm, and we are looking at gas overpressure everywhere because we have so much oxygen. So, I think what we should do is probably turn off or disable the, um, basically any direct gas generation in this room. I think there's an electrolyzer somewhere that's also pumping air directly, which, no, actually, no, it's not. No, no, no. That's coming from somewhere else. So here's all the gas coming in. If I turn that off, look at all this gas is chilling in here. 84 degrees. Yeah, we gotta get all this shit out. So yes, we will. That'll help. What also might help is if we pump some of this hydrogen out of here. What are we looking at here for uh, pipes? We're, we are pumping some stuff out of here, but that's, <laughs> that's not enough. We could open this up a little bit more. Just kind of let some more gas come through. They just basically take one more all the way up. And that'll help, or we could just move that pump down here, because that's not doing shit up there. We can't even delete this one, right? I don't think we can. If we can, then I'll go ahead and I'll cut this whole thing up. What is that, salt water? Oh, shit. Well, where's that going to go if I, if I open that up? It's going to go straight down and straight into... Oh, cool, into this. But that's going to be filtered to where? That's going to go to... <laughs> This, which is going to go through, it's going to break the water sieve. Okay, so we can't do that. <laughs> we can't drop it straight down into there. What we'll do is, what is this, salt? Okay, so what we'll try to do is put uh, some regular tiles here. One, two. And we'll do this. I think you might be able to reach it with just, just from there, shooting straight over. And that'll help contain that. If anything, I could contain and break this and then yeah that'll work just like I open a clear path one two good no salt water breaking my machines what else is in here what is this water weed yeah go ahead and get that up with that oh come on dude <sighs> there get out these fucking guys man How's that sticky note pile? It's, uh... We, it's... Well, I... What do I have? Chlorine base? I guess this, this is... What we're doing right now is actually not on the list. Which is typically the way this works. Alright. So, time to sacrifice another layer here just to open this up and give it a more breathing room. And that'll help. I mean, it's probably a significant amount there. There we go. Now I can breathe, and that'll give me more space down here to get all this air out of the pipes because the base is getting hot. You can see over here, body temperature is hurting. 138,000 kilocalories stress. Lindsay's stressed. She's fine. Um, yeah. Allergy. More allergy. Sure. Stuff it in here. I think it's only been the sports allergy, I think. Did they ever build this stuff? Is it because it's five? I guess it is. <laughs> Annoying. I wonder I wonder if there's something else wrong. I just wanna like see now. What is this set to? Fuck it. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stop, stop, stop. They're moving things from other bins to this one because I had a higher priority on it, so we're fine now. Construction errand. Who has the errand? Errands. Donis. Boots. Has no skill. Sorry. Ugh. Uh, so Donis is the only way they could do it. So what else? What is he working on? So Donis has building priority conveyor lo loader. Uh, a, a total priority. Okay. So where is Donis? Here he is. Let's take a look and see what he's actually doing. So he is building, 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 and storing uh, gold amalgam. Okay. Picking up all the stuff that's in here still, which is fine. I do want them to get that stuff out of there, so it's just a little bit of suffering until that's done. 
this gas vent said it's over pressure even though there's nothing there. There's no pipe hooked up to it. Holy crap. They all just shut down. This space is getting super hot, super fast. Like, really fast. I think it's all this down here. Like, this is not enough. Like, this one layer here is definitely not enough. This is why I want to get all this storage shit out of here. I don't know what kind of heat this stuff's putting off. I just want it away. And then I can start moving some of this stuff and beefing up this, um, this wall of insulation. Like, this wall needs to be, like, too, too thick, at least. Uh, otherwise, it's just letting all this heat in. Actually, we should probably cut all this shit out, too, and replace it. I didn't realize how hot that was. It's gold amalgam right there. Oh, it's aluminum. Cool. Yeah, get it. And then we'll replace it all. I should have just done it the first time. Do that. And then we'll come back to the rest. So we, right now, we don't have any food supplies. Or any any um, natural food supplies. Like, all this stuff is, is dying. Because of the heat. Um... Yeah, we're about to come up with some solutions here. Pretty fast. Pretty fast. Did they finish this? Good. So that'll get pumped up there. Damn it. Yeah, nice. And so, yeah, it'll start sucking from right here. And it'll start freeing up some more space so we can get some more gas. These are starting to work, but still, it's going to require a little bit more. And this and this air is I mean whoa that gas is a hundred and twenty three fucking degrees why why is it so hot how did it get so hot so fast where's it coming from oh man I thought that I was I really truly thought that I was pumping it through oh wait it is let me see this goes where does this go? Up here. Okay, that meets that. I'm not cooling this. This oxygen is way too hot. I feel like I need to pump it through here. What is that? That's okay. There's an oxygen output right there. That's not running right now because it's probably over pressure, max gas pressure. So this is actually useless right now. This uh, electrolyzer, but these pipes are not useless. I can. I should. I should definitely pipe some gas, some air, um, through. Yeah, I, you know, I forgot that the electrolyzer is pumping in just straight oxygen, like just straight from the electrolyzer. Uh, I'm not going to cool the water going into it. I'd rather just cool the air. Uh, it's easier that way. The pipe's already there. All I have to do is just redirect it. Question is, how does it get back? So if it goes up here, like, oh, oh, I don't actually have a way to get it there yet. I have to create another path. Uh, not terribly difficult. Just a whole lot of work. If they can get done, it can get done. So what we'll do is... Oh, man. <laughs> uh, got, like, no sleep last night. I don't know what I was thinking. Let's go play... Let's play Oxygen Not Included, a game that requires focus and brain power and planning and... Will. <laughs> okay, so... It's time to redirect all this oxygen. Um, should we reverse it? If I reverse this here, that'll just immediately take it and send it all out into... Um, it'll send it all out into the uh, the cold biome. It'll get cold super fast. Uh, so that'll be an easy, immediate fix. That'll get that moving. I would also need to then find a way out for it... Uh, which probably will be here. So if I basically disconnect this pipe here, I could take that and run that where? Where can I get? I could actually have a sister pipe along this, right? The, I mean, the, the, the infrastructure is already there. So I just basically just build sh pipe all the way up, all the way over, bridge, over, meet with this. And by the time all of this gets drained out the other side and loaded up into the... I need a vent in order to do that, but that would be not too... Okay, 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 okay. I got it. Okay. <laughs> Sufficient resource for that brain power? No. So here, first step is deconstruct this. Now. Then we're going to take this pipe. Let's slow it down a little bit. Let's slow it down because... Speed kills. 
And what we're going to do is we're going to reverse it. Th what that'll do is it'll take all this oxygen that's not venting everywhere else, and it's going to start sending it down towards the... Um, it may not do it right away. I have to go, like, disconnect the pipe somewhere else. Uh, and then it'll send it back towards the uh, ice biome. There we go. Let's keep an eye on it and see what it's... Uh, make that a nine. Immediately just grab some uh, carbon dioxide. It's fine. Uh, oh, is it not? Oh, okay. Oh, oh, this is this is good. This is good. This is good. This is doing exactly what I what I said it would do. Just I forgot to go do this part. So let me go ahead and just snip this. Snip, snip. Uh, I don't think that'll that'll salt that'll bring it uh, yet. Yeah, it needs it needs an output. So what I'll do is. I feel like I need a blast of cold air, and this it's not that cold in here, it's only 30 degrees, so we can definitely freeze this air and let it sit in here for just a second. So what I should do is take this ventilation, or this uh, um, pipe here, and just run it up and into this, and that way it'll have an output, but it's not going to output anything because it's over pressure, right? So let me see, nine, what are these build orders here? Get that out of here, get that out of here. So this will get it moving, and then we'll just snip it whenever, once it gets here to this point, we'll just snip it so that way all that oxygen just sits there, and then we'll start working on how to get it up and out. I do think getting up and out would, uh, through, it's gonna go all the way up over here, I think getting, getting it up through this way might be the best way instead of trying to go through all this mess. Plus there's no heat transfer when you go through space, so it'll keep it cooler longer, maybe? So here it comes. Good. Good, good, good. Being led by the, uh... <laughs> the little Thomas, Thomas the carbon dioxide engine. And then we will build... Let's build the rest of the pipes here. Ventilation. So... Let's see... Once we get out here to a vacuum, we don't necessarily have to have it insulated. So we could just start with this. And where can I connect it? Where's a good place to reconnect this bitch? Without, without allow, allowing anything else to get through. I think right here. All right, let's run this part. This part's definitely gonna. Uh oh, I save. Oh, 508. Oh man, what you guys tell me? <laughs> Woo, we made it. Gas bridge. And then. Uh, that's still all pretty much a, yeah, it's all switch insulated from here. Good, and then... Okay, this is a good start. And then once we get all this stuff clear, oh, all the oxygen is, uh, slowly seeping out. But we did get a lot of it sucked back into the other direction, so this is good, this is good. Oh, gotta snip, gotta snip, snip, snip! <laughs> Ah, uh, shit, no, it's all over here yet. I want all the oxygen to come over here. If I snip it, then it's not gonna... It's not gonna go. I think... I think I should just go ahead and snip it here. There we go. So that'll kill that. So no more... Hot-ass air going into the base. Do this. So now we've replaced it with... Cool air coming from... Space. But we still have to get this part going, so... This should... just get backed up. I hope I was hoping actually it would stay backed up here. Um, but... Cause I don't want that oxygen in here. <laughs> Shit. Let's just go ahead and snip it. Where's it gonna go now? There's nowhere else for it to go. It's gonna get backed up over here. Yeah, that's fine. How cold is it? 43 degrees, see? So that's what we want. We want it to be nice and cold. So... Question is, do I... See, because this, originally, this electrolyzer was cooling, being cooled in this area, uh, the air. And then it was getting sent to the base. But because, you know, it's, it's over pressure, 
Now the only gas that I have going into the base was from the hot one, right? I had a mix of the hot and the cold and it was fine. Uh, but now it's a problem. But now it's a problem. Let me see, let's go ahead and get a ladder. Then I'll get them up there and they could do that work. They can run this pipe down here. Can they reach two over? Yes, they can. It looks like might want to go ahead and do this just to give them a little bit more reach. And the rest they could reach from the ground. So ventilation, gas pipe. We'll skip over this. And we'll go. We'll maybe a couple more radiance actually. And then gas bridge. So let's do gas bridge number one. Boom. Gas bridge number two. Kapow. Gas pipe. There. There's the, there's the complete cycle there. Huh. <sighs> I I think this is gonna work. <laughs> it's it seems like something that should work. Like in my head, all that made sense. But you know, three and a half hours of sleep. I'm sure it's fine. Let's uh, let's check the uh, priorities on these guys. Everything is a five. Let's go ahead and change the construction to new of the new stuff to like a nine because the base is starting to warm up and we're starting to run out of food. 120, 120,000 kilocalories, not a lot. We forgot a bridge right there. We gotta get that built. Good. They did everything on that side, which is great. Yeah, yeah, th yeah. Thanks, Hub. <laughs> that one. They still have a lot of pipe to build though. Nine, 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 nine. Good. Let's get that bridge in place. We'll make that a nine as well. Good. 